This electric tram was built for the tourists in September 1893 between Douglas and Ramsey, and it's resisted all attempts to modernise it. There's even a branch line that goes to the top of Snow Fell, which is the highest mountain on the island, from the top of which you can see five kingdoms. England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales and Man. The Wakes Week. About a thousand years later, the second great impact of visitors came from overseas, and they too have certainly made their mark, the tourists. ...of England, and so suddenly people could get and get out into the country where they would explore the glens, many of which were developed during Victorian times. And really, people come today for exactly the same experience, to get away from the maddening crowd, to appreciate fresh air, and there's plenty of it, and also this natural beauty because... And then, of course, we have As well as horse trams and electric railways, the island has another form of archaic transport, a genuine steam railway. Parts of the original network, such as the long abandoned line from Foxdale to St John's, were built in the 1880s as mineral lines, but others, such as this surviving section from Douglas to Castletown, was designed at the outset as a passenger line. Despite vicissitudes and financial uncertainties, it continues to function, a 19th century anachronism, but one which has become part of the nostalgia boom, and as such, is likely to remain. Until the beginning of the century, rural life was punctuated on land by seed time and harvest, and at sea by the arrival of the silver.